Hello there, and welcome to the 365 Challenge, 365 guitar lessons in 365 days. The last 10 videos have been about the caged major and minor bar chord shapes. Um, this lesson, I'm just going to talk about uh, an easier way to find those chords. So for example, if you're looking for some sort of, let's say, G chord, all the way up this kind of area of the neck here, where would you find it? Now, I'm sure you would have learned your E-shaped bar chords and your A-shaped bar chords before learning any of the other shapes. And you learn that the root note for an E-shape is on the E-string and the root note for an A-shape is on the A-string. So, if you know you've got a D on the fifth fret of the fifth string, then you can play an A shape. It's an A shape on the A string. Um, now, there's a root note, of course, for every type of chord shape, so the same sort of thing applies. It just means you've got a, because you've got more shapes, you've got more to remember in terms of where the root notes are. So let's just have a talk about that. There's um, five shapes, C, A, G, E, D, and there's minor versions of those. What you've got to remember is not only are the root notes of E shaped chords on the E string, but also the root notes of G shaped chords. So if you think about your simple open chords, an E shape has an E root note on the E string, and a G shape has a G again on the sixth string, on the E string. So any type of E major or E minor or G major or G minor shape has its root note on the sixth string. So if I want to play a C minor using an E shape, E minor shape, I can find the C and then apply the E minor chord shape to it and that gives me a C minor chord. But from that same root note I could play a G minor shape. And if I wanted to do a D, I could find D up on the 10th fret there of the E string. I can play an E shape, or I can play a G shape. Um, then on the A string, again there's two types of chord shape there. We've got A shapes and C shapes. So if you think about an A chord, it has its root note on the A string. And if you think about a C chord, again has its root note on the A string. So if we were to go to this E on the 7th fret of the A string, from there I could play an A major shape, giving me an uh, E major chord, or a C major shape, giving me another E major chord. Or I, if I wanted it minors, I could do an A minor shape, so now that's an E minor. Or I could do a C minor shape, giving me another type of E minor. So that's four of them covered. Last one is D shapes. D shapes are on the D string. So think about a D chord. Its root note is there on the D string, open D string, or a D minor chord. Root note again is the D on the D string, open D string. So if I move that up, let's say to the G on the fifth fret of the D string, I could do a D major shape, giving me a G major sound, or a D minor shape, giving me a D minor sound. It's best to sort of memorize those one at a time. Um, download the uh, PDF file showing these uh, 10 chord shapes uh, from my website, one to one guitarlessons.co.uk slash 365. Look out for the downloadable products page, there's a link at the top there. Um, all the root notes are labelled clearly in that PDF. Just remember, on your E string, the root notes to E and G shaped chords. On your A string, the root notes to A and C shaped chords, and on the D string, the root note to, of uh, D shaped chords. Okay, thanks for listening.